on course. Self hypnosis. He he's committing. He's doing self hypnosis. Like he wants to believe what he's making up. So he he's hypnotizing himself by not listening to reason. But but it's funny. I pulled this up because he he keeps saying, "Oh, we're not speaking from the prophet. We're not speaking from the prophet." Well, I ask you one question. When you read this whole constitution, why does it not say anything about a supreme grand council? Not a grand body, a supreme grand council. How come the constitution doesn't have supreme grand council in there? Okay. So what I'm thinking of is like, not when the prophet did it, because back when he was here the supreme grand council was him the men around him so now when he's yeah. not here that supreme grand council and what all the stuff that's happened it plays as a, a democracy so why is the the word democracy not in the constitution of the republic you know and they're still running a democracy government i mean it's not even in there my question to him is how come supreme grand council is not in our constitution why is it not in there? And then when we think about, okay, what is he violating in our constitution? We go down right here. It says, uh, oh yeah, there it is. All right, Act 5, no organization of Moorish America. So we asked him, are you a temple, Rami? Are you a temple, Rami? He didn't want to answer, but he says, I'm a Moorish American. So by uh, happenstance, by, uh, you know, just because you, by, by proxy, you're a Moorish organization or more uh, organization of Moorish America, which are I am hip hop. OK, we give you that. But what you're doing is causing confusion, which is overthrowing the laws of this constitution. How are you causing confusion? Because you're coming onto a class where everybody is clear and you're making people wonder what's up with you. That's confusion. You were right before we pulling up your book and you and this guy is not who's talking to us. It's some other guy. So that's called confusion, right? Caused by a Moorish organization. And those that's the overthrow of the laws of the Constitution because what you're doing is attacking a who? Who are you attacking? A Grand Sheik, for God's sakes. Act one, the Grand Sheik and the chairman of Moorish America are empowered to make and enforce laws with the assistance of the prophet who we have in our hearts and our minds and the grand body of Moorish America. That's our answer. Ancestors. That is our ancestors. Grand body? Oh yeah, they're up there with the prophet. So any other thing is a dead priesthood. Is 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 a is a is a dead um a dead um add up chamber. We don't need that. We need our ancestors, the grand body, and we need the prophet. Our prophet who didn't even die, he just passed form and he's on a higher plane with the ancestors. So for you to violate this constitution and go against a grand sheik and then claim that you're a grand sheik on our um on literature that Noble Ali said that that's what changes the mind, the literature, you have our minds thinking you're grand sheik. Did you lie? Did you lie more? Peace, 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 Islam. I'm Rami Salam Grand Sheik of the Moor Science Temple of America, International Asiatic Moor Hip Hop Temple Number 23, coming out of Oakland, California, the Republic, Northwest of Mexico. Normally, you know, I say, well, this lesson is going to be about such and such, but today it's going to be about expressing to you what the International Asiatic Moor Hip Hop Temple is about. Um, and also who uh, and what Rami Salam El represents. Uh, let's start with the temple. <clears throat> international. Well, because we're going to be working with all nations. You know, so we're going to be international. We already are. Global. You know, on the net and beyond. Uh, Asiatic. Uh, well, at one time the earth, uh, what we call the earth, the land, you know, it was known as Asia. Uh, and as the first peoples of this land, 
uh, we would call the Asiatics anciently. <clears throat> Moorish. Well, that's pretty self evident, isn't it? Right? Okay. Uh, and hip hop. Well, that is our Moorish or our indigenous culture. Uh, specifically speaking to the peoples of North America, but that culture is actually, you know, worldwide. You know, everybody is hip hop. Hip hop is in everybody, whether they know it or not, as a wise teacher once said. Uh, and it is a subordinate temple um, because it's coming and it gets its authority or it's deriving its authority from our main temple, the Morris Science Temple of America. Um, you know, and that was. Uh, put in place by the Universal Prophet Noble Jew Ali in Chicago, Illinois. Illinois. Look that up. Please verify that. Validate that. Or invalidate that. Prove me wrong if you think it's just a game. You know, that's part of why I'm doing this, you know, because uh, a lot of our people are asleep and still want to play the color game, still want to play the you know, the black and white thing, you know, and uh, we have a responsibility. We are supposed to be uplifting humanity, and we are doing a very poor job right now. But that's about to change. Islam, Islam. Peace, peace. Oh, let me check my, get my face. Okay, we good. Peace, 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 peace. I'm Rami Salam L. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I know we're in the middle of it right now. I just wanted to, to, to read you this, um, and then we'll continue with the compilation. Um, and then later, we're going to have the live. But I wanted to put this down first. Um, the prophet has spoken. <clears throat> All governors and grand sheiks and head officials that guide any body of Moors, of any temple of the Moor Science Temple of America, he or she must be of good moral standard and a heart of love, and their works must be of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. They are to imitate the prophet in speech and teaching in any said temple. They must not be under the influence of intoxicating liquors or any other harmful motive that would term terminate or that would become detrimental to the organization. It must not be known that any leader is staying away from home or neglecting his duty at home or must allow the public to know of their wrongdoings. They must forever live the life of love at home and it must be known by all members. Here we go. They must not speak rash words nor any profane language in the mildest form to any other individual because a leader without influence of good works cannot be a leader. And to be a real Moorish leader, you must study the Quran and the divine constitution that is handed down unto you by I, the prophet. Whew. Just want to put that on the record. And in this last piece, that every head of the temple must by law obey the word of the prophet. And if any leader or head of any temple fails to obey these laws, embezzlement is his charge and is subject to enforcement of the law by the grand body. And the penalty may be a fine or removal from office or place under a heavy restriction of the law. Supreme words of the prophet, Noble Drali. So I just wanted to put that on the record as we continue on. That'll be very key. I would like for you to look up the term embezzlement on your own in law. I do have, I do have a law dictionary and maybe we'll discuss it on the live, but right now, um, this is a time for study, and I want you to, I want us, I want us to all have a solid context and foundation of what's going on. Um, so as you continue to watch this clip, please remember the words that Noah Dry Lee spoke. Um, and, and when we get to the live, when we get to the live stream later today, um, <clears throat> yeah, two, I'm, I'm going to do it at 2 p.m. Uh, uh, Pacific Standard Time, uh, 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Who can get it to? Never mind. Um, but when I do the live, uh, the four pieces of literature that I'll be um, working from is the Quran, uh, the Quran of the Morris Holy Temple, uh, the Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America, or the Holy Temple of Science, um, the Divine Constitution, the Morris literature, and the Quran questions for Morris Americans. 
that's all the literature, well, and maybe the dictionaries, but in terms of uh, books, that's really the only things I'm going to be working from. Um, yeah, and so I, I think that's everything. Um, please continue with the clip. Oh, also, I just wanted to put this on the record also. This was a book that I put out. It was called Moore's Jewels, Emerald Edition. And on the back, I'll read, <clears throat> I'll read it to you real quick. Um, I'll read the outro and then I'll read the back. <clears throat> First and foremost, I give thanks to Jah, the Most High, God, Allah, Yahweh, the All, or whatever name we are calling the Creator. I also give thanks to you. Yes, you, the one reading these very words right now in this exact moment. Even if we have never met in the physical, the fact that you are reading this lets me know that we are connected in spirit. Much love and respect to all the people that have influenced and taught me on this journey in life. Special shout out to Noble Dra Lee, Taj Tariq Bey, Kujo Awael, brother, love. Kaba Hiawatha Kamene, Hakeem Bey, Tahida Naji Ula El, uh, uh, Abdullah El Talib Mosey Bey, Rasmariah Bey, Omar Bey, Red and Blue Peel from Northern Ledge, Cosmo El, Rami El Bey, Hannibal Bey, Sabir Bey, Sharif Bey, um, Zakia, Kayla, Cameron, and all the people who are uplifting humanity. And if I didn't shout you out on this one, got you on the next edition. Until next time, keep shining. Rami Salam El. But what I wanted to get to specifically was on the back cover. Um, <clears throat> it says, Brother Rami Salam El was born and raised in Oakland Territory, California. Um, in October 2011, a guardian angel told him about Moors. Intense studying led Rami to a man named Noble Dra Lee in the Moorish Science Temple of America. Rami is now an editor of the Moorish Oakland Star newspaper and Grand Sheik of the International Asiatic Moorish Hip Hop Subordinate Temple Number no. 23. He domiciles in Khalifa, California, Northwest the Maxim. Uh, so I hope that cleared up the confusion that the brother um, was accusing me of. Um, I have never, never try to put myself before Noble Drali um, or the International Asiatic Moorish Hip Hop Temple, which was a subordinate temple, subordinate temple of the Moorish Science Temple of America, which was founded and uh, created and established by Noble Drali, our prophet. Um, but we'll continue on with that in the live. Let's get back to the video. Peace. March 11, 1929. This is for... Um, for you to um, recognize that people didn't get passes around Old Jewel because they had some title or something like that, or because they figured they can, you know, do whatever they want because they're more. Right? Comes back to the same thing that code of the streets. There, there's an unspoken code that's automatically <coughs> known by those who are who are involved. If it's not known, then you're not really not involved on the level that you think that you're involved. Mm -hmm. You might get yourself caught up and stuff. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't have been there. Right? Mm -hmm. So March 11th, 1929. Brother Crombie Bay, the governor and chief head of the temple in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Brother Charles Bay, governor and chief head of the temple in Cleveland, Ohio. These two brothers are empowered by the prophet to investigate business, etc. of temple number four in Detroit, Michigan because Lomax Bay has violated all divine laws of the prophet even before the prophet's face, February 15, 1929. He claims that prophet has no more power and the finance from Detroit will be in his charge. He wouldn't send any to the prophet. He yelled with a voice, look at me, I will guide you through. This is lawful and living yes. evidence spoken before 1,500 people and the prophet was also present. I, the prophet, declare his office vacant and the name of Grand Governor discharged. He can only be a member according to law because the Morris Science Temple of America is a divine organization. Each temple is under supreme guidance of the prophet. When man fails after being placed head of the temple by the prophet of obeying our divine laws and constitutions, he is a traitor and enemy of the divine creed and unloyal to the national government, USA, to which the movement is to make men and women better citizens. When man fails after being placed 
head of the temple by the prophet. When man doesn't obey our laws and constitutions, mm -hmm. he is a traitor and an enemy of the cause. So there's there's a certain level of responsibility that so calls that so called heads of the Moorish movement have. Being that they are supposed to be working on behalf of the people and haven't been doing that for 70 plus <coughs> years is why there's this stagnation amongst the people with regard to, well, what about that? This is never considered. Because this is always looked at as some religious organization and, you know what I mean, or, or maybe they're masons or whatever. It has nothing to do with what really is going on, what really this is about. And the whole purpose of this, when we when you hear that, when you hear Mogadwali say governor, right, grand sheep, grand governor, secretary, constitutions, divine laws, things like that. He's speaking from a governmental perspective. He's speaking from a law perspective. He's not speaking religious. So as soon as religious is understood as the perspective, it's already a wrong perspective. And then people move forward on that as what this is. Again, they have conventions. Only governments have those. Science temple. How how did how do we abandon the temple? And when you go to your literature that you keep pulling up about Supreme Grand Council. to all governors, grand sheiks, and head officials of the temple. During this convention period, the Prophet Nobu Juali on the 17th of October, that he is going to appoint seven men tried and true and accepted by you on the vote. Next day, Nobu Juali stepped forward from the chamber room, declared that he has now had his number, and said that the grand body had accepted his choice in the setting in the Supreme Grand Council of the Moore Science Temple of America. And Prophet Noble Juali also declared that their duties in conjunction with that of the grand body, which consists of all executive rulers, chief rulers, governors, etc. Prophet Noble Juali said that both are to work hand in hand with each other. And those who act in a Supreme Council duty were to continue on with each other. And those who act as in a Supreme Council duty were to continue on with the day-to-day -day functions of this divine movement while the grand body was to intercede that the prophet Noble Juali was the law. That's not what's going on. There's activity and passivity. Right? You already know us. You know, you already know we're not no passive Moors. You already know that. You don't have to prove anything. All right? We did better than, than, than starting some Supreme Grand Council. We unified Moors all over the world. Moors who didn't even know they lived down the street from each other got connected because of Canaan Land Moors. <laughs> 